In this video we're going to be talking about rigging up soft plastic jerk shads and sort of comparing between rigging up on a weighted hook versus a jig head. There are some differences that I want to talk about and actually show you here uh, with some underwater footage. So we're going to watch this footage and sort of talk about the differences here. So first let's go ahead and sort of talk about the pros and cons of rigging them on a, you know, a weighted hook versus a jig head. With a weighted hook the advantage here is that it's going to be a much slower presentation. It's going to fall through the water a lot slower than it would on a jig head, which you're going to see here in the footage. And also, you have the ability to rig it up weedless as opposed to a jig head. Now, they do sell some weedless jig heads, but in my opinion, if I want to go weedless, I tend to want to go with a weedless hook such as the owner twist lock hook. And then with a jig head, what's going to happen when your bait falls through the water, it's going to fall in a much straighter path. It's going to get down to the bottom uh, a lot more quickly. So if you're fishing in deeper water or fishing in strong current, that is where I would go with a jig head. And then if you're fishing, you know, in four feet or less and there's quite a bit of structure, you know, grass, uh, there might be docks or oysters or something like that, I would go with the weedless weighted twist lock hook. So first up, I have the jerk shad rigged up on a jig head. We're gonna see how the action is here, doing sort of a bouncing motion along the bottom. And what you're gonna notice is that, like I said, the jig head falls a lot quicker. It's gonna have a more erratic uh, retrieve just because the weight is forward on the jerk shad. So when you go to pop it up, it's sort of gonna dart in different directions and then fall straight back down to the bottom and it tends to have a little bit of a spin on it as well as you can see there now here's another angle here sort of coming at the side so you can get a good view there again this is the jerk shad with the jig head going along the bottom and also depending on the jig head you know it's gonna fall over onto its side which I don't like too much so if I'm going with a faster presentation you know I want to get that bait down to the bottom pretty quickly that's when I'm gonna go with a jig head now next is some footage of the jerk shad rigged on a weighted twist lock hook or weighted hook and as you're gonna see here it has a much slower presentation you can see as I'm twitching that lure along the bottom as it gets closer to the screen you're gonna see it twitches up pretty slowly and then it also falls down pretty slowly and as it falls it sort of glides because the weight on the hook with these weighted hooks is a little further back from the nose more towards the center of the body so as you can see there that bait just sort of glides down to the bottom and just looks like a more natural appearance uh, in my opinion because when a bait fish is injured or dying they're typically going to you know slowly glide down to the bottom they're not really going to dart straight down so if the fish are more active if uh, you know you're fishing in the spring or the fall water temperatures are a lot more comfortable for those fish they're going to be more aggressive so something that darts around a lot more or falls more quickly is usually going to trigger a reaction strike and then in the summer and in the winter when those fish are not as active you know water temperatures are very hot water temperatures are very cold those fish aren't going to want to chase something down and something that's moving too quickly will typically spook those fish that's when I would go with the weighted twist lock hook so just being able to see how your lure reacts underwater based on how it's rigged is definitely going to help you out when it comes to choosing how to rig your lure based on conditions, type of fish you're going after, uh, how active the fish are, and so on. So if you have any requests to see some underwater footage of any specific types of lures or rigging, definitely let us know. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong in where the line today